I went to Japan. Um, if you've never been to Japan, you gotta go. Uh, delicious food, uh, beautiful sightseeing. A lot of Japanese people over there, but uh, <laughs> besides that, um, you, you gotta go, gotta catch them all. You got to, you got to. Um, no, Japanese people are truly the kindest, most polite people I ever met in my entire life. Like, do you remember when you're little and you drew a drawing? Then your mom would be like, oh my God, you're amazing. You're like, Picasso, my little Picasso, wow. That's how everyone in Japan treated me anytime I spoke Japanese. I learned how to say, where's the bathroom? So I said, sumimasen, toilet wa doko desu ka? Then they all be like, wow. Your Japanese is so good, even Japan, wow. They made me feel so good. It was like my parents never got divorced. It was amazing. <laughs> I studied Japanese as a kid and I was so excited to finally get to use it. Uh, I was in front of this restaurant in Tokyo and I was looking at the menu and it looked like it said fish, but I wasn't sure, so I wanted to make sure. So this Asian gentleman walked by and I stopped him. And in perfect Japanese, I said to him, excuse me, is this fish? I said, sumimasen. Sore wa sakana desu ka? That's correct, just trust me. You know? <laughs> this guy stops, he looks at me in perfect English, he goes, I'm from Hong Kong, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I was like, lo siento, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese language is funny how it's structured compared to English. Like if I were to say in Japanese, I eat pizza. I would say, pizza o tabemasu. But if I were to say I don't eat pizza, I would say, pizza o tabemasu sen. So the whole language is basically, I eat pizza, not. It's a whole language based on how I thought it was cool to talk in 1992. <laughs> I love hanging out with my mom. Not. <laughs> I love homework. Not. <laughs> you guys are a beautiful crowd. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Change the subject. Very sexy crowd. Very sexy crowd. Um, I was so excited to use my Japanese skills in Japan. I went to a ramen noodle restaurant in Kyoto. I went up to the ramen noodle chef guy, perfect Japanese. I said to him, please give me ramen noodles, no pork. I did it, I felt really good about myself. But then in Japanese, he was like, why no pork? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I was not prepared to have an argument in Japanese. I didn't learn how to do this in my fourth grade after school learning program. But I can do this, watch this. So then in perfect Japanese, I said to the Japanese ramen noodle chef guy, I said, I don't eat pork. <laughs> But then in Japanese, he was like, why? And I was like, good Lord. Um, but okay, I got this, watch this. So then in perfect Japanese, I said to the Japanese ramen noodle chef guy, I said, I don't like pork. Thank you so much, thank you so much. But then in Japanese, he was like, but this is good. And I was like, oh my God, how do I say this in Japanese? Um, I don't know how to say this, I was raised Jewish, so I have guilt issues associated with eating pork. <laughs> it's not kosher. And I like, I like to become a vegetarian one day, um, but adding animals to my diet is the opposite direction of where I'm trying to go <laughs> with the animals I put in my mouth. So I said the last sentence I noticed in Japanese. I said, buta o kudasai, uh, which turns out means, please give me pork. <laughs> 
and I ate pork for the first time in my entire life. For reals. And you know what? It was really good. It was amazing. Jewish people were wrong. I don't know who came up with this kosher don't eat pork nonsense. Probably some Gentile trying to hog all the pork from the Jews. <laughs> hey Jacob, you don't eat those pork chops, you're gonna piss off God, I got you, no worries. <laughs> it's my impression of a shady Gentile. 